What's up, everybody, and welcome to one of my final episodes for Lantern Forge. I believe I pretty much covered everything I wanted to cover in this series. I'm kind of giving you guys a bit of a primer on how to get started in the world, how to thrive in the world, and a little bit more about some of the later game material of this game. Also, I wanted to let you guys know whether this was a game worth purchasing or not. And at the $9.99 price tag, I've had about 11 hours of enjoyment out of it so far. And I would definitely say that it is worth picking up if this is the kind of game you're interested in. So let me show you guys what I made over here. We got a titanium tailoring table. It's a hard thing to say 10 times fast. And basically, you can go through here. You can build all sorts of cool stuff. Mostly mage-related things. Uh, if you're looking at the light armor... Um, I think the medium armor. I think these are all mage related. No, that one's not mage related. So it must be these light armors. Uh, but there are a variety of different things in here. Pretty cool. And you acquire various types of cloths, I believe. Some of these merchants will actually sell them to you. And also I've got an enchanting shop here. Um, I should have held on to those parchments because those can be used down over here to make some really nice items. If you go down to the enchantment table, you can build these tomes of enchantment. They're pretty expensive because they require 16 magical essence and 4 parchment. Um, but when you make them, you can drop them on top of an item and it will make it into a purple item, which is generally a much higher value item. It's got some nice bonuses. And the thing about putting it on rings or on uh, amulets is that these items don't actually disappear. So it's definitely worth doing that. Uh, the other thing to note is if you have an enchantment on an item already, you can't put another one on there. So, without further ado, let's take the long journey back down into the basements. We're going to go for one final hurrah into the basement. And that will be the end of our series together, and I'll be moving on to other things. And let's hope the game doesn't freeze as we go 15 levels deep. This might take a little while. Still haven't acquired any more of those gems that I need. The gems are definitely essential if we're going to continue to go all the way down here constantly. Because uh, it just takes a long time to do. And let's keep on keeping on. Go. Come on. Go down the stairs. There we go. So far, so good. No freezes. This is usually where the game would freeze is on these types of menus. And we're going down again. Dur, 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 dur. Here we go. We're going down again. This is way down. Way, way down. All the way to the bottom. I definitely would like to see some of the other biomes in the game. I assume if you make some other characters, you'll pop up in one of the other biomes. Um, yeah, should be kind of neat. But I didn't get around to doing those. Someday we'll make it to the bottom. Someday. Went down again. And again. Let's get a few uh, apples here and tomatoes as we continue our descent into the depths. I'm a little disappointed in the enemy variety. I was hoping we'd encounter some more types. Um, there may be more farther down, but I'm not optimistic at this point, considering how far down we've actually gone and haven't seen um, too much other than a few variations on certain types of enemies. It's that catchy soundtrack again. Oh, it must be getting close now. It's taking like two or three minutes just to get to the bottom. Ridiculous. Okay, I think we finally made it. Go in here and grab my torches. Let's make them count. We don't have too many. 
Time for some happy battle music. No, did I not bring my weapon? God damn it. All right, looks like we're using the iron pick again. We should be able to combat at least a few of these bastards. Can I use my spells with this? No, I didn't need a wand. Durr -durr -durr. I don't want to go all the way back up. So we're just going to have to make it count. This might hurt. Die. Down he goes. Oh, we got another one. We're going to need to heal up a little bit here. This will just make it a little more challenging here in the finale. Come here. Let's duke it out. Feel the wrath of my iron pick. Smack in the face with it. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and grab some of this iron. going to continue to raid these areas until I die, I guess. Whoop. We got a zombie. I don't think I'm quite healed up enough to combat you, sir. I guess we'll find out. He's going to be close. Got him. Still holding our own here. Oh boy, I don't know if I could take one of these fortresses. Let's try luring one of these goblins over here. Come here. Come here. If any more come over here, I'm likely screwed. So stay away from me, buddy. You're not my buddy guy. I'm not your guy, friend. Let me get some lights down. Oh, jeez. Let's not go that way. Not right now. I just want this iron. So let me take my iron, please. Thank you. See ya. Ooh, I found some more copper. Let's zoom out here and see what is in the area. I would like to locate some more titanium. What is this? That looks a little different. Maybe it's uh, just a dungeon wall piece. Yeah, it looks like it must be the dungeon over that way. What was that? Titanium! Yes! That is what we want. Well, how about you? I did not prepare very well for this trip. Not at all. But we came so damn far. So my iron pick is going to run out here before anything else. On digging. I see you, Titanium, and I am coming for you. Just hold your horses. I know you wish to be dug out of the ground. That's a lot of titanium. It's a lot more than the other little segment of it that I found. Yeah, there's a lot of it over here. I like this. This is going to break my pickaxe very quickly. Bone chopping. Awesome. What else can we find? More titanium in the area. 
Saw some marble. Well, I haven't found a lot of uses for marble just yet. See some silk over there just kind of laying around. Somebody left some silk out. Why would you do such a thing? Let's get out of this area. We'll find something else. There's some copper. I'm trying to make this a strategic journey. I don't see what I need. There's a bad guy over here. The dark scorpion. Let's see if we can take him. Come here, scorpion! Prepare to die! I can take one enemy at a time, but usually not more than that with my current setup. Our pick is running low. Running very low on steam, indeed. Oh, hi there, Mr. Blockhead. I'm gonna hit you with my shovel. Okay, this is not gonna work. I need to kill you faster. I need to kill you much faster. You are going to kill me. There we go. Take that. Oh, nice. We found another iron pick. That'll keep us going for a little while. Where'd you guys come from? I don't remember all these enemies being here. I've opened a tunnel into the abyss. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, run. There's too many of them. Pull back. Pull back. Don't let them spot us. Yes, we've lost all but the scorpion. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Now come here and let me slay you and take your things. Oh, jeez. No. No. Lovely. I had another game crash. I don't know what it is about this game and my recording software, but I am just having so many crashing problems, so it's probably a good thing that I'm going to end this episode before too long. Let's go explore over this way. So I think I had a pick. Now I still have the pick. We'll go ahead and swap it out. See if there is anything of value over this way for me. I would like to see what's going on over here. Cause it's already lit up and I see some titanium over there too. Nightfall has dawned upon us. That didn't make any sense. Nightfall is upon us. That makes a little more sense. Keep on chopping. Keep on chopping. We almost made it to the dungeon. It's gonna bust up in here and be like, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Lantern Forge. Oh, geez. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt really bad. You run through the door. There we go. We're safe. I don't have any means of greatly defending myself. Come here. Trying to lure one at a time. I know I'm beautiful, but only one at a time, please. Scorpion ladies. Oh my god. This is gonna be bad. I can feel it now. Got him! I guess he must have missed that other hit. Whoa! No, 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 I can't deal with you yet. I need to heal up. And I need to eat some apples. There we go. A little bit of food. Food in your diet is always a good idea. Everybody likes food. Keeps me alive. Come here. Come and get me. 
I'm gonna smack you in the face. Take that spider. You know, I could probably zoom back in at this point. That's a good idea. Oh yeah, I got a lot of points here. Let's dump a bunch into vitality because we're gonna need to stay alive for as long as we can. Down here in the depths. Some more junk. And some titanium. And a painting that will fetch a high price. Should probably go back to this one. Considering we're just mining. I don't want to wear out my other one that I'm using for combat too soon. This is the extreme edition where we don't actually get to use our weapons. To see it that way, not as me screwing up. Makes me feel better about myself. That's a big rat. It's quite a bit bigger than some of the other ones we've seen. Let's see if rewards here. Found a copper helm. Ooh, there's a used staff. Oh, I think we're back in business. Let's go ahead and equip this guy. Sweet. Look at that staff. That looks cool. Now we can do a lot of damage. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, now we're in business. Came down here with nothing and we're leaving with a whole lot of something. And lots of tapestries. You must chop down the tallest tree in the forest with a herring. Where did he go? Come on, let's hit him. Hit him in the face. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Knock your base down. Oh, man. It kind of jolted there for a second. I thought it was going to crash. Because that's a thing. There's a lot of them in there. Jeez. Just have to get them to come through one at a time if I can. Healing up. Just gotta wait for the health to come back. I don't know how many there are in there exactly. We could use our magic to put this through the wall. Because that seems to be a thing we can do. Holy crap! Holy crap, run! No! Oh, that was close. That was close. Yeah, we gained a level and got all of our health back. So let's go ahead and dump all those points into vitality. Keep us alive down here. Oh, jeez. Come on, come through. Come through. Not that hard. All right, here's what we'll do. We'll knock out a piece of the wall and keep some of it here as protection. All right, got one of them. Here comes the other one. He still can't hit me through the wall here. Gotcha. Awesome. I think that takes care of them. I'll just take this here tapestry. Come here. I wish to shoot you with my spells. Knock it down. I'll get another pick. It's only a copper pick, but it's still a pick nonetheless. We're getting all kinds of fabulous loot. Oh yeah, we're changing our pants up, definitely. Time to drop some junk. None of this stuff is stuff that we need. So it's all going away. Oh, nice. Got some uncut topaz. Didn't even see that. I think that might actually be what we needed to make that teleporter. So we managed to get that before the end.
More iron veins over there. Not worried about that right now. We've got enemies to slay. Got him. Put some lighting in here. Some lighting over here in this corner. Surprised these people can hang out in here without any lighting. I guess goblins can see in the dark really well. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if goblins can see in the dark really well. I can't remember the D&D &D rules for goblins. Since that's kind of how we base everything mythological off of, of course. Oh, nice. That's another two copper ingots. Or some other loot. Hey, it's Mr. Bony Pants Guy. Come here, Mr. Bony Pants Guy. Yes. Come on through. Got him. Okay, oh. Ooh, that's a fancy looking boot. Some strength bonus. Definitely a lot better than what we have on. Anything else here? No. I believe we found the end of this dungeon. Well, let's go back the way we came. Oh boy. Have we not been in here? Where'd you guys come from? It's a wool hood. Let's dispose of some more of this junk. That's what most of it is. What about this hat? It's getting pretty close, but I still think I prefer my current hat for that regen boost. Actually, we have a pretty high regen boost, so we should be all right. Now let's go take out this gigantic rat. Cue battle music. Some smooth battle music. I wonder if there are any games that just play, like, smooth jazz when you get into a fight. There probably are. I just can't think of what it would be. Let's light the place up. And I don't mean lighting it on fire. Uh, some silver veins. I see more titanium over there. Ooh, did I find titanium? I think I picked up some. Ah, I got a silk hood. I shall put this on. They have uh, some of the highest armor bonuses that I have seen. Or a, uh, something with bonus intelligence. Toss some of this junk. Some of it's not worth anything to me. I'll hold on to you, you might be worth something. Well, actually, we'll toss it. We'll make some more room for actually useful things. We don't need a hammer. Uh, you're worth quite a bit, so I think I'll hold on to you. Dump this, dump this. All right, I think we're ready to go. I think we have another skill point. Oh, geez, we have four. Okay, cool. So we'll get to see some of these new spells. Reduces incoming damage by 5% per point. Costs 30 mana, mana to maintain. I think I'm going to go with the fireball. Yeah, we're going to put three points in the fireball. I gained a bunch of levels. More vitality. What's that thing floating next to me? No, oh, I guess it's a part of my weapon. Strange. I 
I should probably equip that spell, however. Which I think you drag and drop. No, you do like that. You just click on it. Explodes on impact. Radius increases 10% per point. Let's see what this does. Oh, geez. Okay, we finally have our first area of effect spells. And that really does a lot of damage. Nice. That's an easy way to clean out a room full of beasties. Wonder if, wondering if it can hurt myself. Oh yeah. Fireball to the face. That probably hurt. Come on, take him out. Fireball into the room. Just blow up already. Break some of this stuff. She'll take all of your weapons. I want that painting. I'm gonna drop some junk though. Let's uh, avoid the zombie here. Got him. Room has been raided. And I see some trusty titanium. Loot and pillage the room. Bone chopping. Probably should eat a little food. Some U logs. Toss some more junk. Starting to run out of junk to toss. Most of what I have is pretty good. But we're running out of uh, space here to continue searching. But we have come very far. Alright, there's another room over here we can raid. Nice. Is this one better than what I have? No, it's not. No enchantments on it. Oh boy, this room's gonna be fun. Ha <laughs> ha. I made it pretty easy. That mana. Got a copper ring. Oh, I got some green emeralds now. That allow us to make even more teleporters. Yeah, I think I'm pretty much full on inventory here. Kind of like everything that I've got. We'll just drop the parchment. I can always buy more of it. 
All right, I think I've pretty much finished the raid here. Let's finish looting this thing. Is this another path? And more dungeony things? Now this is uh, just the one that I mined. Take that spider, I'll set you on fire. Yep, I am literally full. I can toss you now. Pick up these iron paldings. Might as well equip those. Alright, I believe that is the end of our adventure, folks. If you guys really like this series, I have a challenge for you. If we can get over a thousand likes across all of the videos in this series, I will continue the series and do more videos for it. Um, but I want to know that there is enough support behind it that people really want to see it. Otherwise, I'm going to move on to something else. So thanks for watching, everyone. If you like the videos, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And share these videos on your social media of choice, including Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.